So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2017 Nobel Prize winner in economics, Richard Taylor. I'm pretty sure this is the first time that the president, provost, and dean have uh, had a conversation about me in which the phrase pain in the ass uh, was not mentioned, uh, uh, for which I'm grateful, uh, uh, although I'm sure, sure that is not a forecast of future behavior. In misbehaving, which Financial Times named one of uh, Today's prize does um, compensate a bit for my disappointment at the Oscars two years ago. <laughs> There's no prize for best behavioral economist, which I think is unfair. I was uh, um, asleep, very much asleep. Uh, the call came at four this morning. Uh, my wife's here, she can attest to that. Um, um, they, they say, whatever you do, don't tell anybody for the next hour. Like, there's a lot of people that are awake waiting, <laughs> waiting for your call. I, um, and uh, then they ask you to participate in a press conference uh, that they have in Stockholm, assuming you've accepted, uh, which, which I did. And, <laughs> And uh, un unlike Bob Dylan, I do plan to go to Stockholm. So. <laughs> Dick's other books include quasi-rational economics. I don't think I've uh, changed anybody's mind in, uh, the, in 40 years. Um, you, you basically don't change anybody's mind. Um, you, so given that, I've, just, I've used the strategy of corrupting the youth, <laughs> and uh, whose, whose minds are not already made up. Interest in understanding the faculty culture at Booth to read that chapter. Um, so what are you going to do with the money? <laughs> now, most economists are too polite to explain that they think that this is a stupid question. <laughs> and uh, the, the reason why they think it's a stupid question is that economists know that money is fungible. And so what do you mean this money? It truly is an honor to have Richard Taylor as a member of the Booth community. We are thrilled for- Anytime I spend any money that's really fun, I'm gonna say that came from the Nobel Prize. <laughs>